Okay, today we're going to talk about some 3D printed lunar robots. I did a previous video on the wind-up lunar robot, and Ozzy did a video on a prototype battery-operated lunar robot. So I decided, why not do a 3D printed version? I'll put a link uh, down to the wind-up one that I did, and if I remember, Ozzy's as well, so you can look at those in case you haven't seen them. So, the white one was the first one that I made, the prototype, and it ended up being just a little bit shorter. I didn't quite get the leg height the same. So then I ended up uh, redoing it to get the height the same. I wanted to get all the attributes of the toy as close as possible. Now I did make the uh, arm bend a little bit sharper than the original. That wasn't intentional. That's just how I screwed up. And then because they're battery operated, of course I've got to have a switch and a battery on the very back. So that's different than the wind up. But because it's battery operated, that meant I had options that I could do that the wind up couldn't do. So in this case, this one I added uh, light up white eyes plus a flashing light on top. And this one doesn't have the light up eyes, it just has the flashing light on top, but they walk with swinging arms. This one, the arms were disposable, they were free. The only mechanical thing that the wind up one did was walk, and of course there's a spark, a flint spark up in the top. So here was the, uh, the prototype. I'm using the TT gear motor, the uh, 148 gear ratio. We're running on a one and a half volt battery, and then there's a step up regulator to get me enough voltage to run the flashing um, LED. It's very quiet, it's very smooth. It's a shuffle walker, which means you have ratchets um, down in the feet. And this one, like I say, is the same except uh, went ahead and added light up eyes as well. Not bad. I will put the uh, link to the STL files in the description down below in case you want, to, you want to make one of your own. They'll be up on Thingiverse, I hope. I haven't done it yet, so I always say I hope because you just never know with Thingiverse from one day to the next. But uh, it's very accurate to the original toy. Even put the creases in the legs and the same size feet and heel marks and all that good kind of stuff. Got everything as close as I could. There you have it, the 3D printed lunar robot that you can make yourself.